the Vietnam War, a historical overview. The Vietnam War was a long and bloody conflict that lasted from 1955 to 1975. It was fought between the communist North Vietnam, supported by its communist allies, the government of South Vietnam, supported by the United States and other anti-communist nations. The war was the result of a decades-long struggle between the communist-led North and the U.S.-backed South for control of the region. The conflict began in the 1950s, when the French, who had colonized Vietnam, were defeated by the communist-led Viet Minh in the First Indochina War. After the French withdrawal, Vietnam was divided into two countries, North and South. With the North under the control of the communist-led Democratic Republic of Vietnam, DRV, and the South under the control of the U.S.-backed Republic of Vietnam, RVN. In the early 1960s, North Vietnam began to support a communist insurgency in the South, known as the National Liberation Front, NLF. The NLF, also known as the Viet Cong, was made up of South Vietnamese communists who wanted to reunify the country under a single communist government. The U.S. responded by sending military advisors and increasing its support for the South Vietnamese government. What triggered full-scale involvement of the United States? The Gulf of Tonkin incident was a major event in the Vietnam War. It occurred on August 2, 1964, when the United States Navy destroyer USS Maddox was attacked by North Vietnamese torpedo boats in the Gulf of Tonkin. The incident sparked a series of events that led to the United States' full-scale involvement in the Vietnam War. The incident began when the USS Maddox was sent to the Gulf of Tonkin to gather intelligence on the North Vietnamese naval activity. On August 2nd, the Maddox was attacked by three North Vietnamese torpedo boats. The Maddox returned fire and the North Vietnamese boats retreated. The following day, the Maddox and another destroyer, the USS Turner Joy, were sent back to the Gulf of Tonkin to investigate the incident. During the mission, the Maddox and Turner Joy reported that they were under attack by the North Vietnamese torpedo boats. However, it was later determined that the reports were false and that no attack had occurred. In response to the incident, President Lyndon B. Johnson ordered a retaliatory airstrike against North Vietnam. This marked the beginning of the United States' full-scale involvement in the Vietnam War. The incident remains a controversial event in American history. While some argue that it was a legitimate act of self-defense, others believe that the incident was fabricated by the Johnson administration in order to gain public support for the war. Regardless of the truth, the incident had a major impact on the course of the Vietnam War and American history. Public Opinion Shifts The Tet Offensive was a major military campaign launched by the North Vietnamese and Viet Cong forces against South Vietnam and the United States in 1968. This was a major turning point in the Vietnam War. The North Vietnamese and Viet Cong forces were able to gain control of several major cities and military bases, and the offensive caused a great deal of disruption and chaos in South Vietnam. The offensive also caused a great deal of shock and dismay in the United States, as it showed that the North Vietnamese and Viet Cong forces were much stronger than previously thought. The offensive caused a great deal of shock and dismay in the United States, and it led to a major shift in public opinion about the war. Many Americans began to question the wisdom of continuing the war, and this shift in public opinion eventually led to the withdrawal of American forces from Vietnam in 1973. The End of the War 
the Paris Peace Accords, signed in 1973, marked the end of the Vietnam War. The agreement was signed by the United States, North Vietnam, South Vietnam, and the National Liberation Front, NLF. The accords provided for a ceasefire, the withdrawal of U.S. forces from South Vietnam, and the release of all prisoners of war. The accords also provided for the reunification of North and South Vietnam, with the NLF participating in the reunification process. However, the accords did not address the issue of the political future of South Vietnam, which was left to be determined by the South Vietnamese people. The Fall of Saigon In April 1975, the North Vietnamese Army launched a major offensive against South Vietnam, and by the end of the month, the South Vietnamese government had collapsed. On April 30, 1975, the North Vietnamese forces entered Saigon, the capital of South Vietnam, and the city was renamed Ho Chi Minh City. The fall of Saigon marked the end of the Vietnam War and the reunification of North and South Vietnam. The aftermath of the war was devastating for the people of Vietnam. Millions of people were displaced and the country was left in ruins. The economy was in shambles and the country was divided by political and ideological differences. The war also had a lasting impact on the United States. The war was extremely unpopular and it had a profound effect on the American psyche. The war also had a significant economic impact with the U.S. spending billions of dollars on the war effort. The Paris Peace Accords and the fall of Saigon mark the end of the Vietnam War, but the aftermath of the war continues to be felt in Vietnam and the United States. It left a legacy of death and destruction, and the effects of the war are still being felt today.